about it right now. Everything's okay. No matter where you find yourself, no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life, Hey guys, it's Yan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a new type of video. You see this kinds of video everywhere, but it's actually my first time doing a foundation wear test video. So fingers crossed that everything goes well, please. So today I'll be testing out the Shu Umura Breathable Lasting Foundation. When this foundation first launched, oh my god, so many Instagrammers, YouTubers in Hong Kong or Asia are just talking about this foundation like crazy. I expect it to be really light on the skin but yet has amazing lasting power. So I have a little card here that I can read for you, translate more like because it's all in Chinese. So they claim this foundation to be really light, really breathable, not cakey, waterproof and oil proof. What's special about this foundation is that Shu Umura created shades that fits Asian skin tone perfectly. Well that's what they say. <laughs> and from their card it looks like they do have have quite a few shades in the range. That's really good. I appreciate that. For Asians, sometimes it is harder to find a foundation that actually matches our skin tone because we have more of a yellow base. So a lot of the foundations can look a lot more pink on us. It just doesn't really match us 100%. But then this line of foundation is specifically for all my Asian base. So I'm gonna skip right ahead to let you see how I applied my foundation and all of my makeup. And yeah, let's go. Okay, so this is my bare face. I have completely nothing on my face except moisturizer. So for primer, I'm sticking to my old favorite. This is also from Shu Umura. It's called the Stage Performer Block Booster Protective Moisture Primer. For this video, I'm going to use all of the face products that I'm familiar with and that I love so that we can really see how the foundation works. Onto the foundation, this is called the Breathable Lasting Foundation. Applying my foundation, I'm going to use two different applications one of them is their signature. I think this is called the Petal Blush on the left side of my face and I'll use my trusty beauty blender on the right side of my face just to see if they have a difference. Yeah, I definitely don't need that much foundation on my face. This brush helps to blend out the foundation in no time because of the size. I actually do like using the brush. There aren't any stroke marks, it's really smooth, it's fast, and apparently you don't need a lot of foundation, especially with the brush. This is less than half a pump. And for the right side of my face, I'm going in with the Beauty Blender. The foundation on the face actually feels pretty liquidy. Okay, so that's one layer of foundation on my face. On the brush side, I feel like there's a bit more coverage, but I guess that's also expected because Beauty Blender do soak up the products more than the brush. It is such a watery formula. I bet the Beauty Blender has sucked, you know, more. I guess it's more of a satin finish. You can see that it still reflects light on my face, but then it doesn't feel greasy or too dewy for my skin. I would say the coverage is low to medium, but it's definitely buildable. So I'll go ahead and finish up my makeup and I'll tell you my first impression on the Shu Umura foundation. Okay, so this is my complete makeup done. I'm not sure if you can really see it from the camera, but my face looks pretty flawless. This is only one layer of the foundation. I'm pretty impressed by its coverage and how light it feels on the skin because a lot of breathable foundations, they have almost no coverage at all or their lasting power is... It's not that great. Okay, let's be honest. This feels nice on my face. I really like it. I like how it looks. I like the satin velvety finish. All my powder products works 
great on top of the foundation and I have to say I really like to use their petal brush for applying this foundation the brush itself is so big with a few swipes you can already have most of your face covered flawlessly with the foundation whereas if you use a sponge or a beauty blender you'll most likely have to tap it in and that takes up a bit more of your time this brush just gets it done really quickly and it gives you a really really nice finish I'm impressed Shumura like your stuff so that's mainly my first impression of this foundation i will do maybe one or two check-ins throughout the day just to let you see how it sits on my face and everything and also today i'm not going to touch anything up on my face well maybe my lips because i'm gonna have lunch soon <laughs> so now it's currently 12 27 i'm gonna stay at home for a bit and then i need to go to work and then i have a rehearsal at night and my day is gonna end pretty late so yeah i'll see you in a couple hours and we'll see how this foundation lasts on me hey guys welcome to my last and final check-in of the day this is my bed Ta-da! and it's currently whoa it's really late it's currently 2 15 so about my foundation um let's zoom you in on the camera surprisingly i don't look way too dewy or way too oily i do feel that there are oils around my whole face but that's because i didn't touch up for the entire day after i uh, put on my foundation so consider that i have normal to oily skin this is it almost looks matte under this lighting which is so weird it feels slightly more greasy compared to when we first put the foundation on if i don't look like a messy grease ball to you that's amazing let me zoom you out this is too weird for me the foundation did come off a little bit especially around my nose you can even see that the contour around my nose is basically gone i tend to rub my nose a lot that's just something i do throughout the day by the end of the day my nose area it would be pretty foundation less same for my chin my nose and my chin are the two areas that foundation fades on me usually so that's normal for me the second most obvious thing that i noticed is my blemishes mainly like these few spots here you can really see them right now but for the rest of my face i still have maybe 60 to 70 percent of the foundation on my face so that's pretty good how many hours has it been it's been over 12 hours did i do the math right if i didn't just let me know I'm, i ran quite a few errands i was out in the streets it was pretty warm today and in hong kong it's always humid this foundation lasts pretty nice on my skin as for the shade i actually do really like their shade range i can definitely tell that the foundation wore off on certain parts of my face like my nose and my chin but then i don't really see any major discoloration from my real skin tone to the foundation shade so i would say it was a really really good match it works for me so i like that i'm not sure if this foundation is great for dry skin because i don't feel it's especially moisturizing it's just really neutral for me so yeah that's it for my video today and i hope you like it this is my first time doing a wear test video give me a thumbs up if you like it or if you want to see more of these kind of reviews especially on foundations because you can only really know how a foundation works throughout one whole day make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my face and i'll see you in my next video bye